By now, we should know that unconditional love, you're not expecting anything in return. In return yeah. Because, of course, we know that expectation hurts, right? And so, where is a place of, um, where, where is the place of healthy expectation? Hmm. If we know that, I'm not expecting anything from you. I'm just loving you unconditional. Irrespective of what you do, I'm ready to put it. So how, where is that place of healthy expectation in relationship? Because relationship, we know, is give and take. I mean, the reason I go to church every time, or better still, give God worship. That is what I can offer. It means that I'm still giving something. But whether I give or not, he still loves me. But yeah. remember, now you're human. So where is that place? Okay. So I think it's a bit confusing because... If you say you're loving somebody unconditionally, do you have expectations then? Because if you have expectations and those expectations are not met, what happens to your unconditional love? Do I just love you like that? No. You are not giving me advice. No, no, you are not there for me when I want you. <laughs> your attitude is giving me mental health that she said you cannot be fine again. And then I'm just loving you unconditional. Remember she said something that uh, there were a point in her life where uh, nobody actually go all out for her. Yeah. But she was there for people. people yeah. yeah. And I'm sure one day she sat down and was like, I, I can't is it that anymore. I can't, I can't <laughs> take it anymore. I mean, these are the issues. You okay, understand? I get where you're coming so from. So where is that place of... Because whether you like it or not, there, there are there always healthy expectations. expectations. Yeah. So where is that place when I'm loving your condition and you're misbehaving? Well, that's why you ask yourself the question, why do I even love this person? Is it because of the way they look? Is it because of how they make me feel? Is it because of the way they smile? Okay, so that means that you have already have some sort of expectation mm -hmm. for the love you're given. Mm -hmm. So let's just say, okay, um, I met this handsome guy and the way he smiles makes me, you know, just as, long, yeah, as long as he's smiling to me or smiling at me and not at anybody else, I'm okay, I can love him, irrespective of what. Then that's your expectation. Then what if he decides to smile exactly, at someone else? Exactly, that's where I'm coming from. That's, what you, that's your, first of all, that's your first expectation, right? Mm -hmm. Now, whether it's healthy or not, it's up to you again. If he smiles at somebody else, how does that make you feel? Is it something you can say, okay, no problem. I can't expect him to go around, you know, with an angry face all the time and all that. So, okay, one or two people, I get it. So that's your, but when, when you realize, okay, no, I don't want him to smell at anybody at all. That's not healthy. So it's, at the end of this, it's up, it's up to you. Where your expectations are and how much you can take for your mental health. Mm, it's up to you. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, thank you. you. Wendy, I won't just leave this question. I think you need to say something about this too. <laughs> uh, maybe I should ask again in case you didn't really understand. Now we know that when we love someone, of course, we are also expecting, not, not necessarily in quotes, but there are always, always um, these healthy expectations. Remember that the Bible says, if you don't praise me, I'm going to raise this stone to praise me. You remember something of that nature? Mm -hmm. It means that despite the fact that God loves you unconditional, I mean, he still wants that praise. Mm -hmm. Do you get? Yeah. But again, we also know that if you don't praise him, he will still love you because, I mean, you're the reason why he died on the cross, you know? So, in this case, how do you do it? How do you balance that? <laughs> <laughs> Madam Stakeholder. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <Everybody's> silent. <laughs> <laughs> well, the truth is, I think humans have the tendency to love near unconditionally. That's the word I want to use. Because God loves us unconditionally. He has expectations of us. Even when we don't meet those expectations, we still have waivers. But for us humans, we have expectation when we love people. When these expectations are not met, there is so much that we can do. We can only love for a while, and then we feel the need to move away. The thing is, we might not stop loving those people, but I can love you and I don't have to be in your face. Mm. Yes. I can be so much in love with you, I am not in your face. How do you do that? The much I can do from my end, whatever I can do, Within the shadows, I can do it. I don't have to be all up in your face, loving you, stroking your hair, and all. As long as I can't deal with it. If I have expectations that are not met, that's the time where I recall. When it begins to affect your self-worth. Now, the reason I say God can love us unconditionally is whether we do things or not, He knows that He is God. He knows that He cannot be displaced. He does not have a contender. But we as humans, 
we have a challenge. 